Hello Leo, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at what you can expect in love. What are the energies between you and this other person and what can you expect in the near future? As always, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Leo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, Leo, spirit, messages for Leo. Oh, that was kind of sloppy. Messages for Leo, please. What's coming Leo's way in love? I kind of want to get one card at a time. What's coming Leo's way in love? Ooh, manifesting abundance, growth, creativity, evolution. You're growing and manifesting abundance. Love it. So something you've been manifesting, I feel, is coming. What else is coming Leo's way when it comes to love? Aries had an amazing reading, so I'm hoping we can keep it up for the fire signs here. Oh, I got two cards. I didn't mean to, but I'm just, just going to take it. <gasps> no way. <laughs> Sorry. I've just been getting this looking inward card. I've been getting it for like so many signs. Uh, I think like you're the fourth sign to get this card. And when I designed this card, I thought of the hermit. So I feel like either we're all feeling that hermit energy or... Maybe there's a lot of thinking, a lot of evaluating that we're doing. Anyway, looking inward, introspection, isolation, thinking. You are in deep thought, looking inward and seeking answers. By the way, guys, if the cards that you're seeing um, in the videos don't exactly look like the pictures is because I've been improving and tweaking the deck um, closer to the launch date. So um, I think it's improved better and improved. So um, this is kind of like my little testing deck. So. Keep that in mind if you see any differences. Anyways, okay, so we got looking inward. And then after that, we have sweet dreams, fantasy, daydream, imagination. This connection is more than you dreamed of. So I feel like you, whatever you've manifested it is what you wanted and more is what I'm seeing here. I love this energy. Okay. I'm just so happy for Leos. I feel, I really hope this is a very positive reading for Leos. I feel like you guys have been through it. You and Taurus are like the ones that I've just kind of been like meditating on your energy and just hoping for the best, uh, for some improvement, you know? All right, Leos, let's see. Let's pick some romance angels. Anything else that Leo needs to know regarding love spirit for the month of September? Anything else that Leo needs to know for Leos? What do we need to know? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That's not manifesting abundance. Okay, what else for Leo? One more. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Communication. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, so there's communication that needs to take place here. And now that looking inward card is kind of making sense. Maybe there hasn't been a lot of open communication between you and this other person where maybe you've kept your feelings hidden for each other or there's, some, or the, or there's something that you haven't said that needs to be said. All right, let's get into the tarot. I'm using the Radiant Wise Spirit deck today. All of the decks that I use are linked down below for Leo. Now this is a general reading for Leo. It will not resonate with every Leo watching, so just keep that in mind. Um, take what resonates. The reading might not resonate 100% because there's a lot of people that I might be reading for. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Check back next week if it's not your reading at all, or if it's not resonating with you at all. All right, Leo, let's get into this. Also, leave me a comment if the reading is resonating for you, because I do read all of my comments, and I love to um, kind of see how the readings resonate. So, yes, okay, moving on. For Leo, what is coming their way in love? What's coming their way in love? Wow. Starting off with the Knight of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. What else is coming Leo's way? 
Okay, I'm just gonna take one, this top card, Four of Swords Reverse. What is coming Leo's way in love? Ten of Wands Reverse, love it. We do reversals on this channel and um, not all reversals can be taken. I, honestly, not reversals aren't bad at all, in my opinion, but some people think they are. Uh, but some cards in the tarot, you would want to get them reversed. And this is one of them, this Ten of Wands reversed, um, in a sense, because this is all about letting go of a burden, letting go of something that's weighing you down. No longer being able to carry something on your own because, you know, perhaps it's something you should have left back in the past and you were still carrying it, you know, and now something has happened that's caused you to let it go. But it's, it's, it's in a, the fact that you're letting something this big go, it's only going to make your journey that much easier moving forward. So I love this. This could also be that someone was holding something back that was so major and they're finally ready to, to let it go. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to talk so fast here. Um, and I love that this is under heart to heart conversation. So I love that this might have something to do with someone discussing how they feel for you. You know, that's a big thing, especially if they've been holding it back for a long time. Four of Swords Reverse, again, another card about, you know, Four of Swords Upright, healing, reflecting, thinking, um, resting. So when it's reversed, it's almost like someone has already healed or rested and is ready to move, or someone's ready to speak after thinking all about it for a long time. So I love these cards. I think they go with all of the energy cards that we pulled. Also, I just want to show you what's at the bottom of the deck because, I mean... And this came with the Ten of Wands reverse. Are you ready? Look at this. Ace of Pentacles. So with letting go of a burden, there is a new opportunity, a new abundant journey that you'll be on. Something being offered to you. Something that could even be tangible. You know, like a ring or something like that. I'm just throwing it out there. All right, so let's clarify these. Help me clarify these energy spirit for Leo. We're going to start with that Knight of Cups. That is definitely somebody having, um, expressing how they feel in an emotional way. Could also be an apology for some of you. We'll see. Tell me about this Knight of Cups for Leo. What's this Knight of Cups about for Leo? Ten of Swords reversed. Interesting. This could be somebody asking for forgiveness. This could also be someone expressing how they feel for you after something has ended. Or, um, yeah. Okay, let's keep going. I was going to say something else, but then I, the message was no, that's it. <laughs> I was like, okay, tell me more about Knight of Cups. What's this Knight of Cups about, Spirit? Wow, Four of Wands. And I think this card wanted to come out earlier while I was shuffling. Four of Wands, beautiful. Harmony in the home, stability, celebrating peace, domestic bliss. Can I get one more for this Knight of Cups, please? Can I get one more for this Knight of Cups? Nine of Wands reversed. You know, again, another card about with this Nine of Wands reversed, Ten of Wands reversed, kind of um no longer being guarded no longer f being defensive no longer having trust issues um opening yourself up it's almost like something happened in the past that i feel you were still carrying can i get one more for this knight of cups Leo, can I get one more, please? Wow, Page of Pentacles, definitely. This is this is 
This is an offer, a new offer here. Definitely. And, you know, it's almost like it came out of something terrible. Someone's going to express how they feel, but not only just express how they feel, actually also like ask you out or ask to, to begin something here that has potential for more. Tell me about this Four of Swords reverse. Oops. Tell me about this Four of Swords reverse. Six of Wands reverse. See, it's almost like something, either someone wasn't being recognized for their efforts or at all, or someone wasn't seen by someone that they were interested in, or there was something that was not successful or perhaps delayed success here. Tell me more about this Four of Swords reverse. Wow, Queen of Cups. Serious emotions here with the Queen of Cups. A lot of love, compassion, nurturing. Tell me more about this Four of Swords reverse, please, for Leo. The Chariot, love it. Cancer energy there. Again, it's almost like there was something that wasn't working or something, some, some, someone wasn't recognized for either how they felt or wasn't recognized by their person, wasn't seen by their person, or maybe there was just delayed success. Something was kind of impeding in this connection, interfering in the success of this connection. But the feelings were still there. And, you know, I feel like someone's ready to move. Get up, speak up move forward towards success on a different path. And I feel like, like someone's been waiting for this, waiting for the right time. Tell me about this 10 of wands reverse. What's this 10 of wands reverse? What's this 10 of wands reverse here? Whoops, okay. Hangman and Eight of Wands. Okay, so this could be more communication. I mean, I see a lot of communication in your reading. But with the Hangman, you know, it's almost like this communication or um, whatever's coming in, whatever news is coming in or exciting news is coming in. Um, I feel like someone's like, whoa, I need to really think about this with the Hangman. Or maybe you're seeing, it's helping you see something in a new light, giving you a new idea. Help, excuse me, helping you in some way. I got one more for this Ten of Wands reverse. Here, one more, please. Knight of Wands reverse. Interesting. I feel like, and then I have the Five of Cups at the bottom. So I feel like, ooh, and the Ace of Cups right after that. Okay, let me not get distracted. Okay, so I feel like, again, there's something about the past here. Someone's focused on the past, feeling regret over the past, missing someone. Um, I think really there's probably regret here because I feel like someone wasn't serious about a commitment or wasn't reliable. Uh, maybe they didn't stick around. Maybe they played the person that they loved or something like that. Um, maybe they were acting impulsively and it led to making mistakes. Um, anyways, this is in the past. I feel like this is the burden that needs to be dropped. I feel like someone um, has had some sort of enlightenment about this either. And, and they could go, you could go both ways too. Um, Leo, take it as it resonates, but there are two very different messages that I'm seeing. Either someone from the past that you that wasn't able to commit to you, that wasn't someone that you can count on, they have to be let go completely. And this is a burden you've been carrying. And, you know, by letting it go, you're allowing something else to come in. Either that's happening or this is someone that maybe things didn't take off and they regret it. And now they want to come and talk to you about 
how they are recognizing their own actions and what it led to, right? I hope that that makes sense. I feel like there's two different groups of people here. I'm, I'm getting that for, for, for some of you, this is completely new. I have getting to know each other. Um, you know, this is, you know, getting to know each other and very soon. So it's almost like there's someone coming in. But for a lot of you, I think this is someone you kind of have already had your eye on or have tried to manifest something with because I have manifesting abundance. I have sweet dreams. So, you know, I feel like there's, there's, there's a chance that this is someone that you kind of have been trying to manifest something with. So let's see. What's the potential outcome here for Leo and this person? What's the potential outcome here? For Leo and this person. Potential outcome between Leo and this person. Hold on. This up. Potential outcome, please. There you are, Leo. Strength card. Showing up in your own reading. Well, can't get. Potential outcome here. Let things flow naturally. Have courage. There's that. Wow, the magician. Manifesting abundance. Isn't that what we... Can I... <laughs> can I keep my cards in my hands? Can I get one more? Four of Pentacles wanted to come out. Okay. I feel, and again, you know, there's this sense of holding back with the Four of Pentacles, um, holding on to something. And I feel like uh, this is, I feel like one of you have, have has been doing it or both of you have been doing this. Look, keeping something to yourself, hiding your emotions, hiding how you truly feel, not communicating how you truly feel. Um, I feel like there's something that you are manifesting specifically here. And I feel whatever you're manifesting um, is going to require you to let go of something or it's going to require you to open up or, or, or have courage about something. Leo, either you or the person you're dealing with. But whatever you've been manifesting, I feel like you need to just manifest it, right? But then let it flow and let it happen organically. You know, it's like once your person arrives... Uh, the or what you've been manifesting once that takes place you need to kind of like back off not try not be this energy but this looks really good i mean this is someone this is communication getting to know each other heart to heart conversations knight of knight of cups page of pentacles um but also like not just an eight of wands of course but not just communication um you know movement here potential for something Um, all right. So I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, Leos. And I'll see you next time in another reading. Take care.